Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Today we have another Distress Ink and Oxide colour combination video for you and today we're looking at Picked Raspberry. So this is probably the brightest pink within the Distress Oxide range. We are going to be looking at how it compares with other pinks in the range and then we're also going to be looking at two different colour combinations. Now stay tuned because I've got something with a little bit of a difference with one of these combinations today. So the first thing we're going to do is a swatch Picked Raspberry on to white cardstock and see how it looks um, and we often go and compare this then to uh, the label to the ink pad and to everything else all the other pinks that are in the range and this just helps to give you an idea of whether or not you need it in your stash um, and things like that so if you've been joining me along the way thank you so much lots of you have uh, subscribed since doing this series so I'm really grateful to all of you so it seems lots of you are enjoying the series and I do have plans for another fun series once we've been through all the colours here as well. Now as always everything that I'm using including the ink pads, the brushes, the download for the colour chart which I'll show you in a moment and the blending mats, they're all linked down below so you can see where I purchased mine from. Now I'll come to the combinations in a moment actually, let's take a look first of all, getting ahead of myself. Uh, at how this compares so the label is actually really similar so if you're browsing in a shop in a craft shop or online and you see the label it's pretty similar to what you're going to be getting maybe the label's ever so slightly brighter but that just might, might be that I didn't put quite enough ink on now within the color chart as you can see here this is one that you can print off at home um, you can just download it, it prints off plain and then you fill it in as you go through your colours. So this also helps you to see which colours you're missing and which ones you have. As you can see, I do have all the colours at the moment. Any more that come out, I will uh, do a new chart. So I'll slot that colour in where it needs to be. So it's all in colour order. Really, these are the only pinks. So we'll just pull this strip out. And as you can see straight away, Picked Raspberry is the brightest pink of all of them. And really nothing else compares there. Um, saltwater taffy, sorry, Abandon Coral is a darker pink, but it's definitely more of a coral. It's got more of that orange hue in it. If we just take a quick look at the reds, uh, again, nothing that compares. So Picked Raspberry, I think, is kind of an essential once you start building your Distress Oxide or Ink stash up. So let's just move these to the side and let's go into our first combination this is the one that's going to be a little bit different so i'm going to go into kitsch flamingo next which is ever so slightly lighter it's not massively lighter it's not like a huge jump from dark pink to bright pink there so we can blend those two in really i mean instantly they've blended really really nicely now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just wipe my mat once more and dry it it's really important to dry your mat because if you have any water on your surface or any moisture on your surface that might react with your inks and then I'm going to go into picket fence and I'm going to do this with a clean uh, blending brush or one that you've only ever used for the white the reason being is because I want to fade this pink into white so from dark pink up into white into nothing so I'm going to layer some and this is an ink and this is actually answering a question I get a lot can you mix inks and oxides yes you can so an oxide is essentially an ink but with pigment added so I'm putting down lots and lots of the white on here P this picket fence white they don't do picket fence in um, an oxide but essentially it's a similar sort of makeup it's still got that dye base with the pigments so you can see I've started overlapping the Kitsch Flamingo there and then with what's left on my brush I'm going to come back into the Kitsch Flamingo and I'm slowly going to do those little circles again going to work my way up towards the white ever so gently tiny little circles and we're just going to make a nice blend between the two here so that's how you fade into nothing into white really really nicely sorry show you that so you can see it isn't that beautiful so we've got picked raspberry kitsch flamingo and into picket fence now alternatively if you don't have the white the picket fence this can be achieved it's a little harder but it can be achieved with clear embossing ink as well if you have that have a go it obviously doesn't have 
those blending properties or the distress properties there is a distress uh, there is a distress uh, embossing ink but it doesn't have that blending um, but essentially it's a clear ink that will just help you to blend out a little bit have a go and let me know what you've found works but I just really like using the picket fence now on to an a brighter believe it or not a brighter color combination this is going to be four colors and as you can see here I have got beautiful aren't they picked raspberry twisted citron broken china and cracked pistachio so let's see how these look now I'll start with the picked raspberry first and just pop this on the end now because I'm going four colours I need to be aware that I don't want to blend as much into the strip here and the same if you're doing a full panel background or a panel of anything um, just be aware of how much of each colour you're going to want I'm then going to go into Twisted Citron I just love these sort of tropical colours together I just think they look absolutely gorgeous very very summery of course in the UK at the moment it is kind of summer and what I like about these, which you'll just see coming through here, is the Twisted Citron into the Picked Raspberry give us a lovely orangey hue, coral colour hue in the middle there. I really like that. So can you see that? Just the mix of the two in there is beautiful. So then from Twisted Citron, let's just wipe our mats because we don't want to get any pink into the next colour and the game dry just keep a wet wipe and a dry wipe next to you at all times then we're going to go into cracked pistachio this is kind of my middleman between twisted citron and the blue the broken china because this is getting more towards the blues although it's obviously still a green and we have got a video on the playlist already for cracked pistachio and for broken china uh, and for Kitsch Flamingo as well actually so you can go and check those out if you want to see those colours individually in the same way as this so ink blended different co colour combinations where they fit within the rest of the uh, oxide all of that specifically for those colours now I can bring this down a little bit further then I'm going I mean that is just a lovely combination on its own when it dries you can see I've got a little bit of dampness there as it dries you get that lovely silky kind of cloudy hue that I would say it's a bit like a filter one of those softening filters that you get or you can get on photos it kind of feels when oxides dry that that's the effect you get everything gets nicely softened with the oxide effect and then lastly broken china and I think I need to clean my bristles so they're not blending on as nicely as I'd like they will work I'll just keep applying more they're not holding on to the ink they need a good wash with some soapy water and allow them to just dry and that will refresh them a little bit just popping that lovely blue onto the end there we'll come back and make sure that's blended nicely with the cracked pistachio look at those colors isn't that just a lovely pop of rainbow colour there absolutely gorgeous so they were we started with picked raspberry twisted citron cracked pistachio and then broken china now let's take a look at that other combination as well the two side by side if you enjoy this please do make sure that you go and check out the playlist and subscribe to my channel as well here so that you don't miss any of these distress oxide videos as always thank you so much everybody for joining me i hope to see you again very very soon